What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your OBS settings. It's a pretty easy setup process. The first step you have to do is go into your sources and then add a new audio input capture and then name it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to name mine microphone. And then once you have set that up, you're just going to select the microphone you are using. And as you can see down in my audio mixer on the bottom left, I do have my microphone working completely fine. And also I'm going to be showing you a couple filters that you should probably put on your microphone. So the first thing I like to add is just a noise suppression and I just use the RN noise. Pretty much this will get rid of any background noise and little fuzzy noises that you hear on your microphone. The next one I like to add is a limiter and the reason why you want a limiter is because if you stream or something this won't rupture your viewers eardrums or anything like that. And then finally, I like to add gain. This is not really needed because you're supposed to have your microphone as close to your face as possible. If you have your microphone near a fan or mouse or keyboard, you're obviously going to pick up those noises. So make sure that you're away from all of those clicky clacky things. Now for gain, you want to look at your audio mixer. And if your microphone isn't in the mid yellows, I recommend turning it up to the mid yellows. That way that your viewers can hear you completely fine compared to other people or the game itself and that's all you are going to need for your microphone filters now for your viewers to hear what you're hearing through the game or something like that you just add a audio output capture and I'm just going to label mine headphones and you're just going to find your headphones and then obviously you're not going to add any filters to your headphones if your audio is a little loud you can go down to your audio mixer and adjust it here as you can see if I play any music or something like that it shows up in the audio mixer the final step I like to do is to highlight both your audios and then group these selected items and then you can name it whatever you'd like but I like to name it audio if you'd like the audio on a different scene so for an example if I want it on scene two all I would do is right click and copy the sources and then paste it as a reference I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't already please be sure to drop a like and subscribe down below and I'll be seeing you guys later Peace out.